I'm going to show you how to make a top dead centre indicator out of an old spark plug and an M10 bolt. We want to make ourselves a top dead centre indicator. Why do we want to do that? Well, one, it's a video and it shows you how to make something. I've never made one. I don't want to do it. I don't want to buy one. Uh, and two, I want one because I'm still working on the Dodge Dart. Yes, I haven't done what everyone's done. We stick a screwdriver down the bore and we just tap it and tap it and tap it until we think we've got it at that maximum point and before it's coming down. And then we say, yep, yeah, that's top dead centre and we line it up. So I want to do it a bit more scientific than this. And how this simply works is you have the screw that comes down through the middle of the spark plug and you just screw it down enough. And this is, you do have to be careful. How it works is as the piston comes up, it will touch the tip of this top dead centre indicator and stop. At that point you mark on the uh, crank, you then turn the crank the other way around and it hits the other side. You put another mark on the line and if you weren't too far off the top with this, you'll have two lines and in the middle of that line is your top dead centre. It's as simple as that. But please, please, please remember to take it out before you try starting your engine because you will put a hole in your piston. I'm warning you now. Anyway, let's show you how you make it. First thing you need are these. An old spark plug and an M10 bolt and a couple of lock nuts. A vice is helpful for this and an M10 tap or you probably could use uh, a 3 8 bolt UNF and a 3 8 tap but it doesn't matter really as long as it fits down the middle of that spark plug hole. Hmm. Um. Yeah, well, that didn't go to plan. I think it's fair to say I think it's fair to say the cheap top dead centre stop has not become cheap for the reason that my camera went toppling off the bench and smashed into a thousand pieces on the floor. So, since the camera is not mine and on long term loan from a good friend of mine, sorry Chris, I've had to buy a new one, exactly the same one by the way. Um, so there we go, uh, let's carry on making it, shit happens, um, let's move on. So I've slightly frustrated with the thing, I've smashed the, uh, the hell out of that and got the ceramic out, so I've now just got that body, you can see that's a tight fit in there, that's an M10, so what we want to do is just drill this through clearance for an M10, which I think is going to be something like... 9mm, something like that. Let's run a 9mm drill through this and then put a tap through it and see how we get on. And the tip for future is don't balance your camera on the bench when you're smashing the hell out of something with a hammer. It doesn't work. So it's now on a tripod. So we won't make that mistake again, will we? Let's hope not. Probably the other thing worth mentioning is smashing the ceramic out of this so I can see through it was a lot harder than I thought. I thought I'd just like whoop the top off and pop it out, but oh no, that's uh, it's well and truly in there. There we go, lovely, beautifully tapped. Let's try the bolt in it. Oh yes. Right, so what we need to do now, so we've got the ability there to adjust this down. What we want to do now, uh, we're gonna have a lock nut on the top as well. Uh, we're just going to grind this just to a bit of a point just so I've got something a nice little round tip on there so I'm going to do that on the grinder and then we should be ready to try it so there you go uh, pretty inexpensive if you exclude the cost of the camera tool so you can adjust that in there for the depth to get that to the top dead center now how do you use it good question so what you do screw it in the place of your spark plug uh, adjust this down to top dead center I, what I would really do is get your engine near top dead center as near as you think it is screw this in screw the outer in then screw this in until it touches just turn it round till it touches one way, mark your crank pulley, 
turn the engine fully all the way the way around the other way, mark the crank pulley, you'll have then have two lines that far apart. In the middle should be top dead centre. Do remove this before you try to start your engine because it will punch a hole in the top of your piston. So let's give it a go now and see if our top dead centre on this engine lines up with the mark on the pulley. Right, so I'll turn the engine clockwise. I'm going to mark on the marker where I'm at, which is there. And I'm going to turn it back the other way and see where our top dead centre mark lies. I'll turn it back till it stops. There, so we hit the other stop the other way. So we'll just mark that. Right, you'll just see there, between those two black marks, I would say it's probably pretty much in the middle, only a tiny little bit off, probably two degrees off if that. It looks a little bit lower in the picture than it should be. It should be in between those two marks, the upper and the lower mark, and it looks a bit near the lower mark. So it's probably two degrees off. So I suppose the question to ask yourself now is, what has that actually proved? Well, it's proved I can make an inexpensive top dead centre tool, of course if you discount the cost of a, a new camera. Uh, if you miss that, rewind back and you'll see why. Um, so there we go, that gives us our two true top dead centre. And the reason for doing that is sometimes on the harmonic balancer, uh, it's a steel inner, rubber ring and then a rubber outer. The rubber can deteriorate and move around or it could have been made badly and the TDC mark is not out, is not in line. So there we are, we've proved our top dead centre is correct. That's a cheap tool to make. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.